motile bacteria and archaea generally swim using rotary flagella, which are helical propellers that drive the cell forward. E. coli bacteria have two to six flagella randomly distributed around the cell. During an uninterrupted run in which the cell moves steadily forward, all the flagella spin counterclockwise as a bundle. Periodically, one or more flagella reverse their rotation to clockwise, disrupting the entire bundle and causing the cell to tumble. The cell ends up pointed in a random direction. Soon, all of the flagella again rotate in the counterclockwise direction and the cell swims forward. The repeated course of swimming and tumbling results in what is known as a random walk. This video shows E. coli bacteria swimming and tumbling reorienting and swimming again. Most flagellated cells have an elaborate sensory system that enables them to swim toward favorable environments that contain attractants such as nutrients and away from inferior environments that contain repellent signals such as waste products. This sensory system is known as chemotaxis. In E. coli, the flagella bundle together behind one pole of the cell, while the opposite pole contains a diversity of chemotactic receptors. When the cell moves away from an attractant, that is, down the concentration gradient of the attractant, the receptors send signals that trigger one or more flagella to rotate clockwise. The bundle flies apart, causing the cell to tumble and then swim in a new, random direction. As the concentration of an attractant increases, the cell generates fewer signals to switch flagellar rotation and the cell tumbles less often. The pattern of movement in chemotaxis is called a biased random walk in which the cell tends to migrate toward the attractant. In contrast, a random walk has more frequent changes in direction and shorter runs.